Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask. Today is a Wednesday, believe it or not. It is May the 19th, 2021, National May Ray Day. I don't know what that is, but that sounds like fun. National Devil's Food Cake Day. I like that stuff. Man, it's good. Uh, I like Devil's Food Cake and Angel Food Cake. I love devil, Devil's Food Cookies, but those are hard to find anymore. Oh, yeah, they are hard to find. Yeah. Um, Emergency Medical Services for Children Day today. This is a big deal. There's a lot of people who put their lives on the line every single day to help other people. So mm-hmm. if you are one of those people, hats off to you today and every single day. Also, National Juice Slush Day today. And I've got a guest. I'm super excited. He honestly should be on a Movie Star Monday, but we couldn't line it up until today. Holt McCallany. He was in Fight Club. He's been in a bunch of other movies. But lately, you and I saw him in a role on a program called Mind Hunter on Netflix. We watched every single episode of that. It was the kind of the origin of like the FBI or the CIA where they were... Okay, I remember that. You know I couldn't remember about. the title, but yeah, so I remember Mind the Hunter. show. So yeah. he's, he's uh, the one of the main stars of that. Okay. And just super cool guy. As we were lining this up, I got a chance to chat with him a little bit. And fun, fun dude. I'm excited to visit with Holt coming up. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Researchers in London have determined that pink drinks produce a feel-good effect and that helps athletes run faster and further. <laughs> what? I don't know why. I got a feeling we're going to see more pink energy drinks, okay. though, because of this. So right now, when I think of uh, drinks like energy sports drinks, I don't think of pink typically, is no, it? No, like, I, th- I can only think of pink lemonade when yeah. I think of pink drinks. So I bet we're going to see more and more because of this thing. And a new survey of 2,000 Americans find that roughly one in three people are ready to dump their favorite streaming service like Netflix or Hulu or whatnot uh, over lackluster shows. Yeah, I which is would agree with that. Incredible when you think of the sheer volume of content. And I don't know that it's necessarily lackluster shows or if we just get bored looking for good stuff. No, no, no. We've watched some stuff and it's like, really? Yeah. And there's been many that we'll watch and we get to the end. We're like, that was the end? That's how they ended it's like this? like they ran out of time or yeah. budget or something. Yeah. So, I don't know. Coming up here in a bit, we've got uh, a, a gentleman from a Netflix show that was worth watching. So, hopefully, that's not one that people don't like. We're going to be chatting with Holt from Mind Hunter, that's coming up. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's Better Credit Card. Cards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by Time for Rehab.com. 48-year-old man arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol and possession of cocaine. 40, uh, 48-year-old, <laughs> easy for me to say, Marty Martinez, found sleeping behind the wheel of a truck on the interstate. Deputies say they opened the truck's driver's side door, woke him up. They saw a white powdery substance on his nose, noticed a strong smell of whiskey from his breath, he had bloodshot eyes, watery eyes, and spoke with slurred language. Yikes. Had trouble performing tasks. When the deputies asked him to get out of the vehicle, he forgot to put the car in park, and it rolled forward. Okay. They had to put the vehicle in park for him so he could get out. Multiple sobriety tests that he failed. He's uh, under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Got put in the, de- the patrol car. Deputies watched as he pulled two baggies of a white powdery substance from his pockets Yikes. while they were working on it. And he tried to shove them in his backside. In his rear end. Yeah. He was in the back seat of the car and they're like, uh, we can see you back there. <laughs> we know what you're doing. It didn't go well. We'll put it that way. Baggies were recovered. I don't even want to know. I just... Uh, <laughs> I no would, thanks. You could not pay me enough. No. Charged with DUI, possession of cocaine, and evidence tampering. That's what happens when your brain is on drugs.
Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. A new report claims that A-Rod, that's uh, Alex Rodriguez, okay. was shocked to find that J-Lo, that's Jennifer Lopez, uh, was seen with Ben Affleck. Uh, ben, that's Aff- ben Affleck. <laughs> also known as Ben Affleck. Yeah, after they uh, they broke up. So he was shocked to learn that, because uh, those Maybe two used to be together. Maybe they're just still friends. Well, they were together, and then they broke up, and then she was with him, and now she's like, oh, I'm going to go hang out with Ben again for a while. So, I don't know. Um, Grimes revealed that she was hospitalized for panic attack following the Elon Musk Saturday Night Live debut. Grimes had a cameo on the show, so uh, maybe his anxiety over her performance. So I'm not sure her partner, Elon Musk. So that's uh, Elon Musk's partner. Oh, okay. I, I was, was going to say, I don't know who Grimes is. I don't either. It is, just says it on but... here like we're all supposed to know. Okay. And we we're probably supposed to if know. If it's his wife, then okay. I, I could see that because the of the way the people world. were acting we're to towards know. him. I could totally see that. Yeah, I suppose. That's your big screen, little screen report brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of RadioSavings.com. The tiger that was running around Houston had been missing for over a week, has now been captured. Okay, I heard a little bit about this. They captured the tiger, it's all good, and everybody's, everybody's back to to, back to normal now. Um, can you imagine how weird it would be to look out your front window and see a tiger There's run a past? There's a tiger. When I was a little kid, we had a chow. You know, you know what that is? A yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was shaved to look like a lion. Oh, and that's he got a good out, idea. He got out one time, and there were calls to the police station. There was a report of a lion running loose. <laughs> it was just our dog. <laughs> <laughs> a Florida woman was caught posing. As a high school student, so she could get more followers on Instagram. Really? Funny thing is, Heidi tried the same thing last year. <laughs> no, in all honesty, I think that whole Instagram thing is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Heidi showed up at uh, at at high school. She's like, uh, totally grody to the max, right? And they're like, what? <laughs> what? What year do you think it is? Uh, the Independent Panel for Pandemic Preparedness and Response, which is not easy to say, concluded the catastrophic scale of COVID-19 pandemic could have been avoided, but a toxic cocktail of delay and hesitation and denial was rampant uh-huh. all around the world. The report, ordered by the WHO, World Health Organization, uh, last May is when they ordered this report, and they finally just got it out. Talk about a delay. Anyway, uh, I've got a link to the story if you want to read all the details on that. I'm moving on, though. Authorities in Texas are on the hunt for a tiger that got loose in Houston. Hey, I probably should have put that story yeah, first. Yeah, maybe that should have been first. They found it. Hey, here's an update. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I did not plan that, honestly. A 78-year-old woman in Alabama is being celebrated for graduating college at 78 years young. Oh, how cute is that? That is awesome. And not so cute, a good Samaritan on a subway in New York City was bitten the guy was trying to stop a man from harassing a woman. Witnesses say the man also choked this man. The attacker did. So trying to be nice, he got choked and bitten. No on a good subway. deed goes unpunished, yeah. unfortunately. Be nice to each other out there. No biting on the subway, okay? Okay. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Holt McCallany. And uh, we got to know him from a, a little program called Mind Hunter. He's been in a ton of stuff, Fight Club. And he's got a, a, a new project, Wrath of Man. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic. Now, I was telling you ahead of time, we, we watched Mind Hunter. What a great project that was. And uh, that, that uh, again, that kind of just swept the nation by storm everybody was watching it everywhere that's got to be cool to be a part of a project like that oh boy i i you know cool doesn't even describe it uh it was uh it was a real transitional thing for me in, in my career because the audience response was just overwhelming so uh, uh we're really 
really proud of the show. Uh, it, it's a, it's a, it was a really special project for me to be involved with. And the funny thing, I was even telling you, I had somebody tell me, oh, you'd, you'd love this. And I'm going, I don't think I would like that. That sounds really weird. And then we watch it, and we couldn't quit watching it. And I think that's kind of how it was for everybody. Well, look, you know, um, it's, uh, it's the mastery of David Fincher. You know, he is an incredibly talented director, storyteller, and filmmaker. And, you know, um, um, it, with, with, he's so meticulous with such attention to detail. He works, uh, you know, uh, with the writers on the scripts for so long. He does so much pre-production. He just, you know, he really thinks things through. And uh, and then when we when we when we make the show, uh, we take the time that it takes to really get things right. And it's a rarity uh, in the entertainment business because people are generally under such tight. Uh, time constraints and budgetary constraints, and they, they, they just they have to work very quickly. But David has earned the right to to be more more methodical. And uh, look, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, it's 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 probably you know for me as an actor the best work I ever did in my life. It is fantastic. Now let's talk about this new project in theaters right now. It's out right now. Action thriller, Wrath of Man, working with Jason Statham. This uh, this looks like a fantastic. I've not yet seen it, but it looks fantastic. Tell us a little more about this. Well, sure. Um, as you say, you know, uh, it's uh, it's an action thriller um, from uh, from the uh, British director Guy Ritchie, uh, who brought us films like uh, The Gentleman with Matthew McConaughey and Colin Farrell. And uh, 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 he directed movies like, uh, oh, like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, like Snatch with Brad Pitt, uh, a really uh, a really unique uh, filmmaker with his own kind of signature style. And, um, and it's a remake of, a, of an excellent French film called Le Convoyeur. Um, and it's basically about uh, uh, a guy, you know, Jason's character uh, is a guy um, who's, uh, whose son, is, is, is killed during a, a, an armored car robbery and uh, and he goes undercover to try to, to try to find the truth of who's responsible for his son's death um, and, uh, and and, and it's, so it has all of the things that you've come to expect from a guy Ritchie film you know uh, colorful characters and uh, and clever dialogue and uh, great action sequences um, it's uh, it's a fun ride. And so, you know, I hope your listeners will will, will 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 check it out because the reviews all came out today, and they were and they were excellent. Now, in this program, do you get to be a good guy or do you get to be a bad guy? Because you do a really good job on both sides. <laughs> well, that's a very nice compliment for an actor. Thank you. Um, look, uh, I don't want to give too much away, um, but uh, let me say this: um, I see my my guy as a good guy. Nice. Um, but he is a good guy who's capable of doing bad things. There you and, go. You know, he's a, he's a former soldier uh, who served in Afghanistan. You know, he came back uh, after the war, a little disillusioned with civilian life. And so at a certain point, he made a decision, you know, to, to go over to the dark side. But uh, uh, is, he, is, he a, is he a good guy or, or a bad guy? You know, I would, I would argue... That in Guy Ritchie's movies, nothing's ever black and white and everything is gray. There you go. You know what I'm trying to say by that? I know exactly what you're saying, and I agree completely. I think that's that's really good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, sir. We appreciate it, and we wish you the very best on this, and, and we'll be looking for you in other fun projects as well. I, I, I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. And again, he's got a new film out now. It's called Wrath of Man. I've got a link to the trailer in our show notes and a link to find the movie as well. All of the details can be found in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Pro baseball once had women players. While there are currently no female players in Major League Baseball, there have been plenty of women in professional men's leagues. The first was Lizzie Arlington, who pitched during the ninth inning uh, back in 1898 and won her team a game 
Over 30 years later, an African-American woman, Jackie Mitchell, pitched against the Yankees during an exhibition game, striking out both Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Whoa. What's even more impressive? This young lady was 17 years old at the time. So why do we not know more about these I don't know. We should. People. Maybe That's they should do movies about them. That would be awesome. I got a movie huh. for my 42nd birthday. You got me the movie 42. It was about Jackie Robinson. That was a great yeah. movie. And I watched that. I got it for my 42nd birthday. I watched it a week before my 43rd birthday. <laughs> I was like, I've had this for almost a year. I better watch this. This has been today's fun fact. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Now, radiotravelgroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world. Dateline, Dubai. A nine-year-old DJ in Dubai placed fourth in the World DJ Championships. She says her goal is to one day outrank her father, who is also a DJ. So that's pretty cool. Did you know there were DJ World Championships? I had no idea. That's why I look so confused. I'm like, what are we talking about? That look doesn't translate to the radio, which is why I I asked you. So, But uh, no, I didn't know that either. But I think we're a different kind of DJ than what they do. Because that's people who do that uh, wiki, 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 you know, scratch the records and stuff. They do what? (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing. I can't even do that without sounding like that. I don't think you'd probably make the championships. (laughs) Probably not. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Do you hear me? (laughs) Can everybody hear? Me? And like, if we can hear you, just be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Radiotravelgroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. Weirdgiftoftheday.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. This uh, is a Leonard Skinner story, so there's some uh, a little bit of a little bit of okay, Leonard Skinner here puns here. This free bird could wind oh, up in a wow. cage after stealing about twelve thousand dollars worth of Skinner memorabilia. Thirty-eight year old William James Walker wanted for theft of a trailer filled with rock relics. They were intended to be sold at a charity auction back in April. But he stole the trailer one day before the auction. It was a cancer benefit. No, oh, that's sad. Yeah, you don't do Come that. on, people. Yeah, the Jimmy Van Sant cancer benefit set to honor late musician Jimmy Van Sant. Uh, his cousins were Donnie and Johnny and Ronnie Van Sant from Leonard Skinner. Uh, he passed away, by the way, in 2016. Uh, the stolen items included irreplaceable mementos from the Southern Rock Band as well as a 1957 Les Paul guitar signed by musicians from the Allman Brothers, the uh, Brian Howe, oh, uh, wow. Butch Trucks, a lot of other people. It says, we have guitars that are signed by a lot of band members. A lot of them are not alive anymore, said the uh, organizer of this auction. Anyway, it says, it's stuff that cannot be replaced. The police uh, actually obtained an arrest warrant for this guy, charging him with grand theft uh, felony is did what he they got find there. the memorabilia? It doesn't say here, but maybe yeah, they, I hope they did. The story is from like a week ago, so hopefully there's an update and they found all the stuff. But don't do that. It's today's weird news, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by RadioSavings.com. A Bronx panhandler attacked a man who wouldn't give him a dollar. Knocked out two of his teeth in one punch. 29-year-old victim was walking with friends at 4.50 a.m. So, first of all, what are you doing out at 4.50 a.m.? I'm a dad. I'm he the was one hanging telling, out with you friends. You guys go, go home. Nothing good happens exactly. after midnight. Yeah. April 24th, 4.50 a.m. Walked past a panhandler. He said, hey, can I have some money? And he said, I got nothing to spare. That's when the guy punched him on the left side of his face. He spit, uh, split the man's lip, knocked out two teeth. The suspect, believed to be in his 30s, ran off empty-handed. There have been no arrests. The victim was attacked about three blocks from his home. EMS took him to the hospital where he was treated and released. Police released surveillance images of the suspect, hoping to catch the man. So 
That is not nice. You don't do that. <laughs> no, you sure don't. No. And he's going to get caught because how, how could he not? Someone's going to catch him. He might already have been caught. This happened back April 24th. That is today's Moment of Duh, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At InsuranceChicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Are you ready, Heidi? I'm ready. All right. Uh, Prairie Ridge, Mason City, Iowa. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Prairie Ridge. I'm going to say golf course. And Prairie Ridge is a rehab center. Is it? (laughs) It is. Although I bet it, it does sound like they'd have a really nice... And I nice... said it with su- such you confidence. Did. And I bet they would have an amazing golf course if they would just put one in. So <laughs> Prairie oh. Ridge is a rehab center. All righty. There you go. That's how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a <laughs> rehab center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. And I think this is just such a cool story. Um, it says, uh, here's a headline, They needed the money more than I did. Iowa Cubs owner kept all full-time employees on during the pandemic. How cool is that? Okay. So the Iowa Cubs baseball team returned to Des Moines last week thanks to the leadership of majority owner and chairman Michael Gartner. It says uh, a lot of teams had cancellations and they didn't get paid. Many of them, when they were furloughed, they were laid off. But this guy, he decided, you know what? I'm going to make sure they still get paid. He said, we kept everybody on full pay and benefits the whole time. Good. said, uh, we lost $4 million, but they needed the money more than I did. What a cool thing to do. Well, and if you've got the funds to be yeah. able to do that, that's a huge blessing, and you should you should kind of spread that with the people that help make you successful. He said, to get ready for opening day, I didn't really have to do anything. I've got all these great people who work here. His commitment to his workers last year may have hurt the franchise finances in the short term, but the decision has paid off when 2021 season rolled around. There's a great quote here from the vice president and uh, assistant GM. He says, Michael takes a long-term look at everything. That's why we can't think about not only tomorrow, but next year, too. He says, we can even look beyond the pandemic. He set the tone for that. As for the fans, by the way, they're happy to be able to attend games in person again. He says, I'm a big baseball fan, and it's not the same sitting at home watching it on TV with cardboard people in the stands. Yeah, that's true. He says, they missed it. They were just happy to be back. That's what the gentleman said who uh, made sure everybody still got paid. He said, it's a piece of their life, and it has come back. I think that's really cool. I've got a link to the story, by the way. You can read all of the details. And there's a photo of him here. He looks pretty darn happy. Looks like a nice dude. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Bye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.